हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज पी आई सी एटीन एड्रेसिंग मोड्स एड्रेसिंग मोड्स आर यूज फॉर स्पेसिफाइंग इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑपरेंट्स द पिक एटीन एम सी यू प्रोवाइड्स फाइव एड्रेसिंग मोड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस दिस फाइव एड्रेसिंग मोड्स विथ एग्जाम्पल्स लेट एस स्टार्ट वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर यू इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल and subscribe and press the bell icon the topic for today is pick 18 addressing modes let us start with the introduction so as we have already said addressing modes are used for specifying instruction operands and pick 18 mcu provides five addressing modes register direct addressing mode immediate addressing inherent addressing indirect addressing and bit direct addressing let us start with the data memory map before we go for the addressing modes the data memory map it starts from 000 and it goes up to fff that is 4096 locations and uh, it has 16 banks bank 0 to bank 15 or 0 to f and each bank has 256 locations that is from 00 to ff each bank will have from 00 to ff locations and here in direct addressing the bsr that is the bank select register will provide 4 bit address that is combined with the 8 bit specified in the instruction resulting in the 12 bit address whereas in indirect addressing the file select register is used to hold the address of the data register and the uh, microprocessor unit uh, will use the fsr to access the data register then apart from this there is a special bank which is called as the access bank so this bank is made up of first 128 data registers that is 00 to 7f from the uh, bank 0 and last 128 registers from the bank 15 so these registers they are called as the access ram or the the general purpose registers gpr whereas these registers they are called as the uh, access ram high or special function registers so now here you have to understand the use of access band now when the uh, a bit it is zero then at that time bank select register is ignored and the access bank is used and when a is equal to 1 at that time the four bits we take from the bsr so when a is 0 then we can access the access bank and this will lead to uh, faster inst instruction execution let us discuss the addressing modes now uh, first is register direct addressing PIC 18 device. It will use the 8-bit value to specify the data register as operand, and the register may be in the access bank or other banks. Now here, other banks means uh, we have the other banks, say bank 0 to bank F or 0 to 15. So those are the other banks. So in first case, if we are trying to uh, the 8-bit value is used to select the register in the access bank then the bank value in the bsr register is ignored and directly we can uh, use the 8 bit value in the access bank then in second case if the access bank is not selected then access is completed from the memory of the bank specified in the bsr register so we are uh, already said that bsr Register will hold the four bits 
so that is uh, for the bank 0 to bank 50 so accordingly we can access the memory from the psr register so here there we have some examples first example move wf and this is hexadecimal number 1e and here we have specified banked so this banked it must be in uppercase that will inform the assembler that the bsr register must be included in specifying the data register to be operated on so that's why it is specified in uppercase so in this case it will copy the contents of w now w is nothing but the working register w r e g to the memory location hexadecimal 1e 0x 1e in the bank specified by the bsr register so when we write this bank that means the bank will be specified by the bank select register then the second example here we take move wf and here the address is 45 hexadecimal and we are specifying the a so in this case it will copy the uh, contents of wreg register to the memory location 45 in the access bank because here we are specifying a that is for the access bank so bsr register contents they are ignored then the third example move ff register 1 register 2 so in this case it will copy the contents of register 1 to register 2 both register 1 and register 2 they are 12 bit file so the copy operation will take place so this is register direct addressing so here we are giving the address of the operand directly in the instruction in first case it is the we are specifying the bsr because it is banked then in second case it is the access bank and in third case directly we take the 12 bit address then next addressing mode, mode is immediate addressing mode so in immediate addressing mode the actual operand is provided in the instruction there is no need to access any memory location here example is add lw and this is 20 hexadecimal 20 it will add hex value 20 to working register w is specified here working register and place the sum in the wreg register move lw and 50 hexadecimal 15 so hex value 15 is uh, loaded into the working register wreg and in third case move lw3 places a decimal value in lower four bits of the bsr register so when we are placing decimal value 3 that means uh, in binary 0 1 1 the value will indicate that uh, bank 3 will be active it will specify the bank so in this way the immediate addressing mode will provide the actual operand to the instruction then the next is inherent addressing so in this addressing mode the operand is implied in the upcode field and uh, the instruction of code will not provide the address of the implied operand. It is implied in the opcode field. So for example, so here we have example and LW 0x13. So this is the and operation and the corresponding bits of hex number 13. They are 
ended with working register. The corresponding bit mean here means if we have the ith bit of working register, it will be uh, ended with ith bit of the value 13, where i is nothing but uh, a 0 to 7. So in 8 bits they are ended with this 8 bit number 13. Here we are not specifying the address of the working register. Only uh, we are specifying uh, 0 x 1 3. The address of the working register that is uh, actually the address is hexadecimal f e 8 it is not specified so that's why it is called as the inherent addressing mode then the next is indirect addressing mode so here again we are going to make use of the uh, fsr so in this mode special function register is used as a pointer to the data memory location that is to be read or written so since register is in the RAM, the contents can be modified by the program. This can be useful for data tables in data memory or for the software stacks. So here we have uh, three indirect addressing registers, FSR0, FSR1 and FSR2. And the address of the entire data memory space. We have seen it is 4096 bytes. So we need 12 bits. And to store the 12 bit address information, two 8 bit registers are used. Uh, these indirect addressing registers, we uh, have FSR0, it will be having FSR0 higher order and FSR0 lower order. L. And FSR1 will also have the same two components. Uh, FSR 1H and FSR 1L. Similarly, FSR 2H and FSR 2L. And after placing the address of the data in one of the FSR register, one needs to read from or write into one of these three registers that are not physically implemented in order to activate the indirect address. So these three registers are IND F0, IND F1 and IND F2. If an instruction writes to value to IND F0, the value will be written to data register with the address indicated by the register pair FSR0 H and FSR0 L. So a read from IND F1 will read the data from data register with the address indicated by pair FSR 1H and FSR 1L. So in this way if, if uh, IND FN can be used in a program anywhere in the operand can be used. So this process you can see in the figure. So here we have FSR NH and FSR NL. So the FSR then H, this has only 4 bits and this has got 8 bits. So total it is 12 bits. So that is the location we select from here and uh, accessing the IND FN. That is, that will uh, define the IND FN register. And that will access the data memory that is from starting from 0, 0, 0. FFF that is 40965. So let us let us see some examples of indirect addressing mode. Now the first example move FF IND F0 and IND F1. So this instruction will copy a byte from register shown by FRS0 to register shown by FRS1 register. So indirectly we are copying the data from FRS where the 
register shown by FRS 0 and FRS 1. Then the second example add WF post decrement 2 comma 0. So in this instruction we are actually uh, adding the W register and register shown by FRS2 and the sum will be stored in W register and after the operation the FRS2 register will be decrement. Let's see post decrement. Post decrement. Then the next instruction we have uh, pre increment 0. So this will in first increment the FRS 0 register and then it will copy the contents of WREG that is working register to the data memory location specified by FSR 0. And the last instruction here we are using plus W0. So this means it will uh, add the working register with the FRS 0 register and then it will clear the memory location at that address. So clears the memory location at the address equal to the sum of the value in working register and that in the FSR 0 register. So in this way these are the examples of the indirect addressing mode. Then let us go to the bit direct addressing mode. So here PIC MCU has five instructions which deal with an individual bit. So the instructions use three bits to specify the bit of the to be operated on. Say so let us take example BS BCF port B B comma A. So here we are specifying integer three. So it will uh, be used for clearing the bit on port B. So it will clear bit 3 of data register port B, which will then pull the port B uh, pin RB3 to loop. So once it is clear, uh, the particular pin that is RB3 in this case, it will be going low. Then the next instruction is uh, BSF port A, four comma E. So here again we are specifying the integer four. So integer four specifies bit to be set. So this is bit set instruction. So this instruction it will sets the bit four of data register port A, which will then pull the port A pin R. A4 to high. So in this way, these uh, instructions they are bit direct addressing mode. So with this, we come to the end of this video. If you have any queries, you can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, email, or Instagram. And if you like the video, press the like button, then share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel Engineering and Technology for You. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future video and thanks for watching have a nice day